emptied four, twice, once for Benetton and once for Lotus. And if Johnny could get that Benetton Renault of his up onto the third step of the podium, or even the second step of the podium, because he's only four seconds behind Damon Hill as I talk to you, it would be a wonderful thing for him. Well, we saw the telltale signs there. The Benetton crew were getting ready for a tyre stop right on cue. It's lap 40, roughly two-thirds distance, and that means it's time for the second and last of the fuel stops that Michael Schumacher leading and Johnny Herbert have got. And we have heard it is Johnny Herbert indeed coming in for his second and last stop. Yes, Herbert is into the pit lane. Now, Herbert stops seven and a half seconds behind Damon Hill, who is in second position. 43 seconds behind his team leader. And he, he's got the jack attached to his car, and he won't know that. Now, this is unprecedented. I have never seen this in a Grand Prix. Something flew off the back there. It was the jack as he exited the pit lane. The jack fortuitously, and thank heavens, came off the back of the Benetton. It fits into a special bracket underneath the car. There are the marshals doubling it. That could have caused a very nasty accident if it, if it had come off on the track itself. The pit lane is officially part of the track, but Herbert is out. He won't actually have lost any time as a result of that. That's Flavio Briatore, the boss of the Benetton team, looking perplexed, puzzled, and extremely relieved by the whole thing. Here's a replay. Look, you see the mechanic just didn't get the jack out in time. Out goes Johnny Herbert, giving it as much as he can to get up to that 75 mile an hour speed. Here's another replay. Yes, indeed, and the mechanic at least has the good sense to let go, but I have never, ever seen this happen in Formula One before. And what happened there was that Herbert left, undoubtedly because of being waved away, before he should have been there. You see the jack handle up there. Now, thank goodness it came away. Everybody in the pit lane must have been looking at that, absolutely horrified to wonder what would have happened. And one can only guess at the, at the horrors that, that could have occurred. But the good news from Herbert's point of view is that that almost certainly will have caused him no problem at all. He will have undoubtedly have been quite oblivious to it too, I'm sure. And uh, I think we shall see, a, we, we know that Benetton do work very hard to make their pit stops as slick as possible. On this occasion, cutting the corners maybe just a little bit too finely. I've seen a six-wheel Tyrrell, I've seen a six-wheel Williams, I've seen a six-wheel March, I've never seen a six-wheel Benetton before. And he's got rid of two of them, there they are. Is it, is it suitable for use again? I don't know, I expect that, I'm sure they've got a spare one in the pit lane. But uh, consternation in the Benetton pit, understandably, we're on lap 42, and Michael Schumacher, now there he is, he's on lap 43 actually, as I speak, he completes his 42nd lap. And he's 37 seconds ahead of Damon Hill, second. He is 47 seconds ahead of Coulthard, who is third. He is one minute and six seconds ahead of Burgess Ferrari in fourth place. Mika Hakkinen looks as though he's going to finish in the points again. He's sixth in the World Championship at the present moment. And Johnny Herbert goes down to sixth place after that pit stop. Now, Benetton's concern will surely be what's going to happen now on Michael Schumacher's stop. I suspect it may well be at the end of this lap, if not the one after. He's due in for his second and last stop. And uh, I'm sure they've got a second jack, a rear jack like that. It was the rear jack that they were looking at. And indeed, we saw a glimpse of them checking a pivoting mechanism. And I have a suspicion that there was some kind of hinging mechanism that didn't free off as it should have done. I suspect that the jack should have been able to accommodate the driver leaving a little bit early without uh, without carrying on with the car and that the jack handle remained in a virtually vertical position I'm sure that was the problem so let's see now if Schumacher comes in for his final stop yes eyes down for number one because Michael Schumacher leads the Spanish Grand Prix he should be coming in he is coming in we sweep into the pit lane and past the end garage up to a stop now that jack will go in very carefully this time. The gap was 33 seconds. Left front, OK. Right rear, OK. Jack out, 7.8 seconds. Excellent stop. And Michael Schumacher rejoins the actual track in the lead of the Spanish Grand Prix, now on lap 44, as he led after his first pit stop. And as he goes into the first corner, Damon Hill exits the last corner, so the gap is down to the distance of the start and finish straight. It's a long one here, 
in Spain, but Damon Hill now will get some encouragement from that. A testing time for the Benetton crew then, and we understand it was Steve Matcham on the back, Jack. He insisted that he wanted to do it again on the Schumacher pit stop, and uh, a, brave, a brave thing to do, the right thing to do too, I'm quite sure, because that must have been a pretty terrifying moment for him. But we could see on that stop uh, just a slightly more deliberate effort to make sure that that jack was freely out before Schumacher went away. It probably cost just three or four tenths of a second, making the stop slightly longer. But it just shows you the pressure that these guys are under and how well they respond to it. Yeah, Steve Matchett, who's just written a book about the life of a pit lane mechanic, that'll make a good chapter for the next one. So we're watching Damon Hill now, and he is on his 44th lap. Two laps, sorry, two pit stops completed for the top eight. The top eight being, and I, never mind the time gaps at the moment, in order they are Schumacher leads, Hill second, Coulthard third, Berger fourth, Hakkinen fifth, Herbert sixth, Irvine is in seventh place, Barrichello is in eighth, and Heinz Harold Frenson, who is in ninth place, has been lapped.